god, she looks like a raccoon. Before, before I venture in what I have to show you, it is Thursday, June 26th, and I'm drinking green sejak, Korean sejak tea out of my California mug. Mmm, very good. Okay, so why am I laughing and why I think you are going to laugh? Um, last week I ventured out to a park with Steph armed with my watercolor set and I said okay I'm going to sketch and use my watercolors while I'm at the park and I'm actually going to sketch something live. I've never done this before. I usually sketch from a photo or from my head but to reproduce something that's 3D somehow always scared me and I didn't do too bad of a job actually. She's not, her proportions are not. I drew Skef. Uh, I drew Skef. I sketched Steph against the park background. Um, her proportions are not great, and that's okay. And everything was going well until I decided to add more definitions to my watercoloring with black marker. And now she looks like. Um, a raccoon <laughs> because I added her glasses <laughs> and obviously she was not in front of me anymore I was at my work desk and um... <laughs> poor Steph I'm sorry Steph <laughs> I haven't showed it to her yet <laughs> I'm crying again <laughs> I'm gonna show you right now actually I filmed the process some of the coloring process and some of the um, the doodling that goes over that and the glasses as well, so please don't laugh too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> Your face like that. <laughs> okay, so you see this? <laughs> Is this it? <laughs> We're at the park. It's so nice. So I just finished painting that tree, or not painting, but drawing, trying to, anyways. That's my inspiration face. We see your belly, sweetie. <laughs> what are you doing? You're trying to scare the squirrels. <laughs> Why? Because they're rats with tails. Uh -uh. They dig up our garden <laughs> and steal our shit. <laughs> Not working. Oh boy.
I'm laughing hysterically because my poor daughter. All right. <laughs> her eyes were fine and everything, and then I decided to add on her glasses because she does wear glasses. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I goofed on the glasses. So she looks like she's wearing like a big, you know, one of those big shield glasses that are like super thick on the side. Anyways, she also looks like a little skunk. <laughs> Poor Steph. But, um, all this to say, <laughs> I'm certainly not an expert in watercoloring. I've never really done watercolor. Le okay, let me rephrase this. I've never had any training on watercoloring. It's just something that I enjoy. When I do it, it's mostly abstract. Uh, so this was the first actual watercoloring drawing that I've, I've ever done. And it is also, it was sketching from, um, it was live sketching. So it wasn't like I had a photo next to me and I could easily follow. I've always, um, I've always had hit and miss, um, results with live sketching. So anyways, but all in all, it's not that bad. <laughs> I keep looking at her sunglasses and um, yeah, it makes me laugh. But anyways, I, I kind of like it. Um, all this to say that don't be afraid to venture into new avenues. Um, it can be very rewarding. I was actually quite surprised that I was able to put this scenery together, being there right on the spot. I mean, this tree was like literally not even five feet away from us so I had a very reduced perception or not per uh, perspective of the whole thing um, and also there were p people milling about around the uh, the jungle gym and um, so that made it difficult to concentrate and then poor Stephanie was concentrated on this squirrel that was <laughs> hovering around us and <laughs> she doesn't like squirrel anyways um, the other thing too that I've noticed and I will try and show you that from up close. I was using my Korotaki set, LC. Um, I think they sort of react like paint. Um, when you put a lot of it, it becomes this shiny surface, which is not, I mean, it's not bad. But the one great thing to, uh, that I've noticed is that they blend beautifully with water and all that. Uh, but when they're dry, they're permanent, which is a good thing. Um, oops, I just forgot something right here. I forgot those cords that were there on these two units. Okay, uh, of course the perspective is all wrong. I mean, there's a lot of wrong things about this, but there's also a lot of good things about it. The good, the main good thing is that I did it. I wanted to do it. I love every single minute of it. I'm not afraid to show you guys because this is part of all of us growing as artists, as people that like to venture into new avenues. And this was definitely a new avenue for me. Now, the book that I am using is a moleskin book that I bought many moons ago um there's no product number nothing i guess i don't know no it just says moleskin but it's a watercolor journal and this is the start like i said of a new adventure for me i will do some of those from time to time just to practice and i will try to keep this as my live sketching um journal so for a first attempt eh. Not bad, <laughs> besides the sunglasses. Poor Steph, I'm sorry, Steph. Always sign your artwork. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll laugh again while I edit this video. Poor thing. I think what went wrong is while I was designing or <laughs> tracing, not tracing, but um, adding the glasses with the black marker, the first time I did it, the, what do you call those? The sides, these, um, of the glasses weren't reaching the, the ears they were too high so I try to fix that and then in doing that the somehow the reading glasses became sunglasses anyways mm -hmm. she looks like um, a raccoon and um, I haven't showed it to her yet but I will now as 
you know, as I've mentioned in the video, I am not a watercolor expert. In fact, this is my very first attempt at sketching and watercoloring. I don't know the techniques. Um, if you really want to learn about watercolor, I suggest that you check online tutorials for this. Uh, this is not a tutorial. This is just me playing with my supplies. But um, I think for a first attempt, it's not bad. <laughs> Uh, I do need to perfect my drawing technique. I haven't drawn in like so many years. I used to do it as a kid, but just portraits. So this like 3D drawing in a 3D setting is very uh, intimidating for me. But I'm determined. I really want to do that because I think I think it's great, and I absolutely love that moleskin. Um, love the format. It's portable, which is one of the reasons why I like it so much, and I think I'm going to do more of that. It's a new venture for me, and it's fun. It's exciting. It's fun to get out of your box. This is definitely getting out of my box, and uh, something that I will repeat in the near future, maybe after my move. Oh, Let's not get into that. <laughs> okay. Here's another project I want to share with you. This I, I started in 2011 after I had uh, my appendectomy my appendix got removed. <laughs> I don't know how to say words. My lips are not working well today, so bear with me, please. Um, and this book is just wire bound with my, oh, what's it called? Not the bind it all. Is it the bind it all? Yes, the bind it all. The cinch is the other one. So I have the bind it all, the small one. And um, I was really bored and I was in a lot of pain. It was a surgery that went wrong. Uh, the aftermath was quite weird, and um, but I couldn't sit still. I was having a lot of problems watching TV like all day long. For me, it's not something I enjoy doing. So I used to buy the Somerset Studio magazines, and I don't know if you've ever had them, but they come with those beautiful artist uh, papers. There's usually, I think, four or five of them, and I had kept them. Uh, in a safe place and they were dormant and not doing anything. Finally, at that time in, in July 2011, I pulled them out and I cut them halfway. Here, let me show you. This is an example of, of the gorgeous papers that are included, that were included in the Somerset uh, Studio Magazine, but I had tons and tons and tons. So what I did is I cut them in half and then I wire bound them. And I had started using this as a smash journal. Now, I'm using the term smash very loosely uh, because it was just like basically me just doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, sometimes I would glue things, sometimes I would, I would write things. Um, I also included some envelopes and whatnot. I'm not going to show you the whole book because uh, some of the stuff is highly personal. But I can show you, and I've been putting it away for a while. Um, mainly because I always thought that I never really did anything in terms of journaling, but it turns out that I do. Uh, so I found all these books while I was cleaning up. And I decided to start journaling every day now in that book. So what I did... Um, and I decided to make it even a little bit prettier, not pretty, being more artistic in the way I journal in it instead of just like gluing stuff down and, and forgetting about it. So what I did is I used on each of the double spread, there's always like the artist paper and then a blank white at the back of another paper. And it usually has writing on the top or at the bottom and explains what the paper was about. So I decided to use a bit of paint to kind of like um, incorporate the two pages together so that it flows better. Better. So what I do is I'm using the same color combination on this side than on the artist rendition. And I started journaling. Uh, again, the journaling I'm not going to show you, but I can just show you what I did. So on this one here, that paper had buttons and I highlighted them and the scheme was like ochre and pink. So I did the same thing on this side and I had some Japanese paper and I decided to punch circles out of it to kind of like mm -hmm. go and pick up, I'm sorry, this is really rude, I have a text, uh, go and pick up the buttons on the other side. So, and I journal very little every day, but I do, I journal. Sorry about that, that was the uh, texting from two different people. Um, 
On this page, on, on the 24th, I decided to be a little bit more artistic. And again, this is like sketching very uh, crudely, if I can use that term. Very, very basic, not even thinking about perspective. But the page on the left was uh, already about Paris and uh, the Moulin Rouge. So I decided to use the same colors painted on the other side and then decided to draw a cafe scene here and you probably won't be able to read yeah you won't be able to read so I can show you from up close uh, this is just like a you know a sidewalk cafe scene and I use my gel pens for not yes the fluorescent gel pen the jelly rolls and I love them I love them it was so nice to do and what I did is I um, journaled in the two windows on each side and it was just fun, you know, like I was just having fun, not thinking about, again, perspective, just creating for the sake of creating, just letting it go. And I'm really, really enjoying the process as opposed to the finished product now, which is great. And the more I, the more I do that, the more I think that way, the more I can actually do. It's very liberating. So I hope that I encourage you to do that because this is so, uh, like I said, it's liberating, but it's also very enjoyable and plus you get things done and then you can look back at it and you can say oh well this is how I was writing on such a date and oh look at that my writing changed my color schemes changed you know like it's it's just progression it's it's easy progression I don't know how to explain it properly but for me it's very um, like I said it's liberating but it's also accomplishing something because if we're trying to always aim for not perfection but something that looks great something that you're proud to show someone oftentimes it's my case you don't do anything because you are afraid that you might not get to that level so the best thing to do for yourself i think is just do it just do whatever do anything but just do that's the important thing oh before i go though i have received another postcard Oh, the sun went into hiding. Uh, this one is from Santa Fe, New Mexico, and it is from Donna. I'm going to butcher your name, I'm sorry. T-R-U-G, no, T-R-U-J-I-L-L-O. Trujillo? Yes, no, I don't know. Uh, she didn't leave a YouTube name, so I'm assuming that she uses that name on YouTube. So, hey, Donna, thank you so much. Gorgeous church. I do believe it's a church, probably during Christmas time, because it has... Uh, Christmas lights in the tree and I've never been in that uh, part of the world New Mexico it looks beautiful though it says um, it doesn't name the church or the the actual building but it says uh, nestled at 7,000 feet in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains Santa Fe is America's oldest capital city and claims a long history and rich cultural heritage another interesting place to visit so thank you Donna and on that note also a uh, funny thing about the greeting cards that I was supposed to send you as a, um, in response to you sending me postcards um, I had forgotten that I had given them to my ex-sister-in-law who lives in Toronto so that she could distribute them and give them away uh, I realized that this week when I started purging my my studio for my imminent move uh, all I have left are Christmas cards and the odd, like, you know, card here and there and uh, some Christmas tags. So, um, no, I'm not going to send you a Christmas card. Don't worry. I will make something. I will also make a postcard and send it to you. Uh, probably not be about Montreal. <laughs> it's just going to be my artwork um, that I will send you. So, thank you. Keep sending them. Please uh, include your YouTube name so I can send you a little text saying that um, I have received it if you're not watching my videos on a regular basis. That's it. Gotta open the window. It's hot. Thank you so much for your support and your words of encouragement about my move. Uh, it's a lot of work, yes, but it's exciting. I'm moving into a new place, so it's always fun. And um, my main concern is to set up the studio as quickly as possible so that my transition is kind of transparent to you guys. I have a lot of projects um, in the works for September going forward and um, it's quite exciting. So on that note I will leave you. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments leave them below and I will see you later. Bye!